Hey everyone, today's it is about when you sleep on Kirishima's lap and Bakugo gets jealous. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. You stretch and yawn, the lazy afternoon sunlight filtering through the windows of the dorm common room. It was one of those rare days when there was no training or classes. A perfect day to relax and unwind with your two favorite people. Kirishima sits on the couch. His broad frame, taking up more than his fair share of space, while Bakugo sprawls on a nearby chair, eyes closed, but clearly not sleeping. Come on, Wyon. You're gonna join us or just stand there? Kirishima's voice was warm and inviting, a grin spreading across his face. You chuckle and make your way over, sinking into the couch next to him. Before long, you find yourself lying down, your head resting comfortably, on Kirishima's lap. He strokes your hair gently, and you feel yourself relax even more. Bako cracks open an eye, his expression unreadable. You're gonna get a crick in your neck lying like that. He mutters, though his tone wasn't as harsh as it usually is. I'm fine, you murmur. Closing your eyes. This is comfortable. Kirishima chuckles softly, his hand continuing its soothing motions. See, she's fine, Bakugo. Just relax. Whatever. Bakugo grumbles, but you notice the way he shifts in his seat, crossing his arms and glaring at the floor. You smile to yourself, knowing that despite his rough exterior, Bakugo cares deeply for you both. It's not long before the gentle rhythm of Kirishima's hand in your hair and the warmth of the afternoon lull you into a peaceful sleep. When you wake up, the room was quieter now. You blink a few times, adjusting to the dim and light. Kirishima's hand was still in your hair, but his movements have stopped, almost absent-minded. He shifts slightly, turning to look up at him and you saw him gazing down at you with a soft smile. Hey, sleepyhead. He murmurs. Did you have a good nap? You nod, smiling. Yeah, it was very comfortable and nice. As you sit up, stretching, you catch sight of Bakugo, still in his chair, but now looking decidedly, more annoyed. He glances away quickly when he sees you looking. What's wrong, Bakugo? You ask, tilting your head in curiosity. Nothing. He snaps, though his stone lacks its usual bite. Just, you look too comfortable there. You exchange a knowing glance with Kirishima. Jealous much? He teases, nudging Bakugo with his foot. Shut up, shitty hair. Bakugo retorts, but there was no real heat in his words. He stands up abruptly, walking over to the couch and sitting next to you, pulling you into his lap with a surprising gentleness. Hey, you exclaim in surprise, but you can't tell the laugh that escapes you. Better. Bakugo mutters, wrapping his arms around you in a possessive way. Kirishima laughs, a deep, hearty sound that makes you smile even more. You know, Bakugo... You could have just said that you wanted some attention to. Like I need to say it. You should just know. Waku grumbles, burying his face in your shoulder. You roll your eyes playfully, reaching up to ruffle his hair. How about next time, you just come to us and join us instead of sulking? Waku sorts, but he doesn't argue. His grip on you tightening slightly. Kirsty was up closer his arm draping over both of you. Yeah, Katsuki. Kirishima says softly. His voice was full of affection. We're all in this together, remember? You don't need to actually get jealous. Baku huffs, but he doesn't respond, instead leaning into your touch. You smile, feeling content and loved, sandwiched between your two favorite people. The three of you just sit there in comfortable silence for a while. 
enjoying the quiet moment. Eventually, you feel Baku relax completely against you. He's breathing evening out. Hiroshima's hand finds yours, giving it a gentle squeeze. We should do this more often. Hiroshima whispers, his eyes twinkling with mischief. As long as it doesn't involve me getting jealous. Bakugo mumbles, his eyes getting closed. Deal then, you and Kirishima say it together, laughing softly. And in that moment, everything truly feels perfect to you. The silence stretches on, broken only by the occasional sound of Bakugo's soft breathing and the gentle hum of the dormitory. You shift slightly, adjusting yourself in Bakugo's lap, his arms tighten around you making you feel even more secure. Kirishima grins at the sight, his free hand moving to gently brush a strand of hair away from your face. You two look so cute like this. He comments, his voice a mix of affection and amusement. Bakugo grunts, opening one eye to glare, half-heartedly, at Kirishima. Shut up, Ijiro. He mumbles. You are ruining our moment. You chuckle, leaning back against Bakugo. He's right, though. This is nice. Kirishima's expression softens, his eyes full of warmth, as he looks at the both of you. It truly really is. I love moments like this. Just the three of us. No worries and no distractions. Bakugo sighs, but there was a hint of a smile on his lips. Yeah, yeah. Just don't get all sappy on me now. Too late. Kirishima teases you, leaning in to press a kiss to your forehead. You'll love it when you do that, to be honest. Bakugo rolls his eyes, but he doesn't pull away, letting out a soft huff instead. Well, you guys are lucky that I do. You smile, feeling the love and camaraderie that was between the three of you. Kirishima shifts slightly, leaning back against the couch, I'm pulling you and Bakugo closer. So what do you guys want to do through the rest of the day? We've still got plenty of time, before we even have to think about dinner. How about a movie? Something light and fun? As long as it's not one of those sappy rom-coms, I'm in. Kirishima laughs, shaking his head. No worries, man. We can find something we all like. And with that decision made, you all get up, Bakugo's hand linger on your waist as you move, and Kirishima's touch remains gentle on your arm. You all sail back into the couch, this time with you in the middle. Kirishima grabs the remote and starts browsing through the movie options, while Bakugo grumbles something good-naturedly about the selection. Finally, Kirishima finds a movie that everyone agrees on, and he hits play. Bakugo's hand finds yours, his grip firm and reassuring, while on the other side, Kirishima's arm drapes over the back of the couch, his fingers brushing against your shoulders. And, in that moment, as the three of you are watching the movie, you know that no matter what challenges come your way, you'll face them together with them. Thank you guys for listening, hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and goodbye!